businesses, and people. Anything and anyone causing a ripple in the community. And now, let's dive in to The Splash Live. Good morning and welcome to The Splash Live. If we could have a big smile on our face on a rainy day like today, well, we're doing pretty darn good. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Dave Scott here in our Civic Center TV studios, and uh, we're really glad to have you. we got a packed show today, so let's get right to it. Thanks for joining us on all of our outlets. Of course, this is The Splash Live, part of 90 Minutes of Live Television, each and every day right here on Civic Center TV. Starts out with The Splash with yours truly, Dave Scott, Tyler Keith, and at 10 o'clock, um, all local, very local here for the next half hour, and then Tyler will take a, a wider look at things going on around our county and around the state. An hour and a half live TV each and every day for you, Monday through Friday on all of our outlets. And that includes uh, good old Civic Center TV, Channel 15 on Comcast in the greater West Bloomfield area. If you have AT&T cable, you can watch us on Channel 99. It's a community channel. Just select West Bloomfield, Kego Harbor, Orchard Lake, or Sylvan Lake to see our programming. We are also available on the web and, and more people than ever are going to our website. In fact, we had almost 50,000 individual people check out our website last year. Thank you very much. Great place to watch all of our video, see our archives, a lot of great community information and stories, um, our top five videos, and a whole lot more, including our program schedule right there on the home page. So check it out, civiccentertv.com. We're streaming today in all the right places, Facebook and on YouTube. Search for Civic Center TV. And then also we are on the radio this morning as you're driving down the roads, both hands on the wheel, looking out for all the puddles. Uh, tune in to 89.3 Lakes FM. And that's where you will find all of the information. So we have a very busy show today. A lot of great guests. Uh, we're going to check in with Patty Narosny and find out about the, the most amazing art show coming up. The Orchard Lake Fine Art Show is uh, going to be back again. We'll talk to Patty in a couple of minutes. We're going to talk women's basketball and much more as we're going to be broadcasting live on Friday from West Bloomfield High School. Our state championship women's basketball team, they are on a tear. So we're going to find out more about what's going on with them. And then we also got some very big news I'll share with you in a minute if you are a West Bloomfield High School sports fan. So uh, that and a whole lot more coming up on the show here this morning on Civic Center TV. Thank you very much for watching us. You're watching The Splash Live. My name is Dave Scott. We're going to take a quick break and we will be back to kick it all off in just a moment. Good morning. This is The Splash Live. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. What's happening around you? Hear about state events, businesses, and from the people behind them on The Megacast, an hour-long TV, radio, and streaming show keeping you informed on the day-to-day -day news. Listen in on talks with volunteer groups, documentarians, and financial advisors Monday to Friday with your host, Tyler Keeft. Catch The Megacast weekdays from 10 a.m. to 11 on Civic Center TV, 89.3 Lakes FM, and streaming on MyMyTV.com. One in four Michigan homes has high levels of radon, a naturally occurring radioactive gas known to cause lung cancer. It doesn't matter where you live or what type of home you have. You won't even know it's there unless you test. So don't wait. Testing is cheap and easy. And if there's a problem, it's simple to fix. Visit michigan.gov slash radon to learn more. We took action, will you? And now, back to The Splash, live. Good morning, Dave Scott back here on The Splash Live. Well, high school football is huge here in West Bloomfield. We've had a state championship team. Uh, we are one of the top programs here in the state of Michigan, no question. We keep feeding the top universities um, some of the best players that they have that we're seeing on Saturdays on, on national TV. Our former coach Ron Bellamy is part of the coaching staff at University of Michigan and Donovan Edwards, our former running back, is one of the top stars in collegiate football today. So what happens in the West Bloomfield High School football program is big news, not only here at home, but uh, certainly among everyone in the sports community. And that's why uh, this morning we have a big announcement. The head coach of the West Bloomfield High School football team, Tyrese Grice, 
Price um, is moving on. Now, he's got a day job. He's in the insurance business. And like all the rest of us, he is thinking, hey, you know what? It might be nice to live somewhere where it's a little bit warmer. He is moving to Houston. Okay. And as a result, he is not going to be our coach anymore. Here's the message wow. he sent along. I, be, I believe this is on Facebook. After 28 years of coaching, including the last 12 years at West Bloomfield High School, I've decided to officially retire as head football coach at West Bloomfield Effective immediately. I'd like to sincerely thank my coaches, support staff, administration, parents, and the entire West Bloomfield football community for the love and support during my 12-year career here in West Bloomfield. And he goes on. Uh, I talked to the athletic director, uh, Eric Pierce, at West Bloomfield High School. He says they will post his job tomorrow. He says they have many very talented internal candidates. And we know that there's a great coaching staff in West Bloomfield. But this is one of the most desirable high school coaching jobs, not only here in the state of Michigan, but maybe even beyond. So there'll be a lot of people very interested. Uh, he assured me that they're going to do a thorough search internally and externally for the very best coach available. Uh, Tyrese Grice, great job. Congratulations on an amazing career, not only as a head coach the last couple of years of our football team, but also as an amazing assistant coach. And uh, we wish you the very best down in Houston, and we will keep you up to date on what's going on with the replacement, and we'll try to get coach, um, the coach on the uh, air, Coach Grace on the air, over the next couple of days. Let's shift gears and talk art right now. One of the, the best events we have every summer, everyone always looks forward to it, is the Orchard Lakes Fine Art Show, and it's coming back for the 20th year on July 29th and 30th, right here in West Bloomfield. Joining us now, the organizer, and she puts so much work into this event every year, Patty Narosny is joining us. Patty Good morning. Good to see you again, even if it is virtually, and welcome to the Splash Live. Hi, good morning, Dave. Thanks for having us. And we appreciate Civic Center TV and West Bloomfield for all their support and look forward to celebrating our 20th anniversary with the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show in West Bloomfield at the end of July. Well, this has been a beautiful marriage. You put so much work into this, and, uh -huh. and believe me, we really appreciate it. I know it's not easy to put on an event, and this isn't just a, a, you know your run-of-the-mill art show. This is a big show. We'll talk about all the details in a minute. But you know we have a symbiotic relationship. I, I know you like being here. And I could tell you that everyone in the community, I'm, I'm pretty close to all of our electeds and everybody else, they love having you here because this is a prestigious event in the summer, right in the middle of the heart of West Bloomfield. We need more events like this. So we are so thrilled that you've had a successful 20 years and are bringing it back. And Patty, it must not be easy. It was really tough during the COVID years, wasn't it? Uh, I a little bit more than tough, yes. But we made it through and we're happy to be celebrated also as one of the top 100 art shows in the country 12 years in a row. And yes, we do put our blood, sweat and tears behind this event. We work all year round to bring top notch artists to Michigan and West Bloomfield for uh, to come to the show and for all artists with all forms of discipline, painting, clay, glass, fiber, jewelry, wood, uh, uh, sculpture to come and sell their original and personally handmade art. And we take pride in the event as we bring many artists to the show that don't come to other shows. As back in 2006, we started doing shows in Florida, which also saved our business during COVID. And um, that's how we, I meet many other artists. We have shows in, Bo actually a show in Sarasota this weekend. And last two weeks ago with Boca Raton. So we are talking up West Bloomfield and the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show all throughout the year to bring artists to the show, especially again, it's our 20th year. I'd well, like to let them go no, ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, you know, if there's plenty of people that are snowbirds that um, live here in, in Michigan or in our surrounding area that might go to one of your events in Florida and then be very interested in joining us here in West Bloomfield, I'm sure that happens quite a bit. Uh, all the time it happens. We have a lot of cross promotion. A lot of the patrons actually follow Hotworks, the shows, because they know they're going to see quality art at the event um, and great artists. I'd like to let everyone know if you are an artist out there, or if you're looking to sell your work and earn a living, we're, we're, we're a show that does help new artists get into the business to do something that they love 
um, and appreciate doing and have their own entrepreneurship of doing something they love for a living. And we work and encourage new artists to come and um, do the art shows, especially after COVID. Our base was over 65, probably an average of age 70. So we did lose some of the artists. They just stopped doing shows or just quit doing shows during COVID. But during the pandemic, it seemed like so many new artists are out there now that they started doing their work during the pandemic. And we have a lot of new artists that we're building into our shows um, right now. So how we um, jury into the show, jury does not always mean juried. You have to know who is doing the jury, jurying and what's behind the event for jurying. Uh, is for the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show is we require each artist to submit three images of their most compelling work in one of their booth presentation as they would submit at the show. And we have a professional jury team, including one as myself as a curator and a couple retired artists who are part of the team who select the artists to be part of the show. And it's based on originality, quality, technique, execution, and booth appearance. So that's a quick wrap as to how juried um, shows were. So Patty, I mean, that makes it even more exciting. It's not just an opportunity for people to show and sell their wares, but it's also an opportunity for them to compete. And and let's say someone is watching today and they haven't been on the show circuit, if you will. Uh, maybe they have done some remarkable work. They're hearing about this no. and they would like to participate. Is that possible? And if so, how would they um, how would they engage with you? Well, they should contact me directly. I have a whole list of what the new artists can do. There's a third party um, jurying system called the application that we encourage artists to sign up on. But again, juried is not juried. Uh, so they accept all the shows, no matter um, if it's an art show or if it's a different kind of event. Um, uh, we also encourage them to get a full body of work together so that they can have something to sell at the show. But again, it's we would need to see three images of their most compelling work. A lot of new artists sometimes just don't have a booth photo set up to um, start with the jury. So we we encourage them to submit the art. And if the art passes, then we work with them on, on booth presentation. And I give them a couple of examples of other artists in that category that have submitted. So we do spend a lot of time working with new artists and encouraging them to get into the circuit. And, and it's a great way, again, to do something you love, to earn a living. Uh, and especially now more than ever after the pandemic, we have learned that virtual does not work like the actual art shows do, where the artist has the relationship that's built between the artist and the patron. And that is so invaluable. These patrons become the artist's best friends. They end up staying at their houses. <laughs> so it's a long time uh, relationship that many of the artists build with the patrons, which is very key at these shows. I want to say, though, the pandemic is going to be around forever. So we did shows during the pandemic. We slammed them in seven days to, to seven weeks. And they're safe with us. And I just put... Uh, COVID guidelines back in place here in Florida a few weeks ago because there is an outbreak. So we're just social distancing and having the booths three feet apart. And that's really all it takes is simple common sense just Absolutely. to keep everyone safe and continue doing business and enjoying your life and getting outside and doing something and looking at the beautiful artwork. And, it, and it's a safe. And the you know as long as we're three feet apart, you know, that's really the, the, the bottom line common sense of keeping our special events safe. And we're going to continue that through the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. Well, we are so yeah. excited, Patty, that you're coming back. I got to run along. Yeah. We're going to have plenty of time to chat again. More information yeah. on the screen right now about the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. Here is a, a link, a QR code right here as well that uh, will take you right to Patty's website and you can get all the information. All you got to do is take a picture of that with your phone right now. You'll get there. And then just remember, we'll be talking more and getting you ready for the event this year. But uh, nothing better than a Saturday and Sunday in the middle of the summer right here in West Bloomfield enjoying the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. Patty, thank you for all your work. We'll keep in touch and uh, talk to you again soon as we get ready for this year's event. 
Great, and thank you, Civic Center TV, and especially West Bloomfield Township. Without West Bloomfield, we couldn't make this event happen. So thank you very much. All right, Patty, a lot of love both ways, I can assure you, between you and everyone here in the township. Thanks for your hard work. We're going to take a very and that's quick... how it should be. Thank you. We're... Thank you. We're going to take a very quick break. We are going to talk girls basketball. Not only do we have an amazing football team, as I mentioned at the top of the show, our basketball team first class, and we got our coach, and we'll get set up for a big game coming up right here in West Bloomfield and live on Civic Center TV. I'll be back in just a very brief moment. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. Ronnie started doing prescription pills at the age of 15, and by 19, he died. If your child is struggling with drug use, try not to be too proud to reach out for help. Don't be worried about what the neighbor will think or your family. Just get your child the help they need. Sometimes it's the hard road to take, but um, the hard road is nothing compared to living with the fact that your child is no longer with you. There's hope and help at drugfree.org. Watch Civic Center TV with our brand new live captions. To turn on live captions, go to civiccentertv.com and click Watch Live. In your web browser, click on the Options tab in the top right and find the Accessibilities tab. Then just switch on live captions to heighten your enjoyment of our local programming. Thank you so much for watching Civic Center TV. And now, back to the Splash, live. Oh, good morning. Welcome back to Splash Live. Dave Scott here in our Civic Center TV studios today. And uh, what an amazing girls basketball team and program we have here in West Bloomfield. They are the defending state champions. They seem to be the only team in the state of Michigan that can handle teams like Edison, uh, which is one of the best teams in the program. Uh, Mick McCabe at the Detroit Free Press has high hopes of the Lakers and is writing great things about them. And uh, we had just a wonderful experience experience at the MLK Classic that the, the program recently put on and, and Coach McAllister is going to join us here in a second put on bravo to uh, everyone associated with this team we couldn't be more thrilled to be heading out to the court for another exciting game here on Civic Center TV joining us now the head coach of the girls basketball program in West Bloomfield Darren McAllister welcome to the splash good wonderful morning Thank you very much for being here. So things are going pretty good for you uh, this year, Coach. Um, you know, I read the story that Mick McCabe wrote that said uh, the headline, West Bloomfield Girls Basketball can boast as the best team in Michigan after your recent play. Uh, that's a pretty big endorsement, and that's because you have handled the best in the state of Michigan. You want to talk about it a little bit? Um, that, that was the plan. Um, as I mentioned to you in our previous interview, we put together a brutal schedule for the month of December to, to prepare us for situations like this and teams like Detroit Edison and, and some of the teams that we played out of state. So that was the plan. And, and uh, we, we took our bumps and bruises, but now we're reaping the benefits of it and we're, we're treading in the right direction at the right time. Well, I've had a chance to see your team play a couple of times now and get more familiar with the program. Very impressive team. Um, and you, uh, it's so enjoyable to watch the pace of your team. Um, it get, you know, you, you correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, your team is very strong defensively and they seem to operate at a very high pace. You seem to want to press the ball quite a bit with this program. Um, everything that we do, we want to do it fast. If it's on the court, if we're going to get water, we want to, we want to do it fast. So that's, that's by design. That's, that's not by accident. All right, coach. So talk a little bit about, you know, I know the Davis twins are your, your stars. Talk a little bit about the stars and the people that we should be watching for and, and maybe some other people that, uh, that don't get quite as much recognition in the media. Well, one of the things, Dave, that we tell our players as a coaching staff that we don't have superstars. We have a super team. And and every every player has bought into that. Um, there might be some some nights where some players might be playing at a high level, higher level than others, but at the end of the day, it's a super team. But some players that uh, we want to mention, obviously we know about the Davis twins, we know about the Hendrick sisters, we know about Destiny Washington, but a couple of players that's on the rise 
is Ava Lord. Um, she's one of our sophomores that's really making an impact with us this year. Uh, she was on JV last year and she put in a, 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 all the work that she needs to do for the summer. So she's, she's, uh, she's producing for us. And then we have a freshman by the name of Sheridan Bill. Um, she's taking the bumps and bruises of being a freshman and, and being coached hard. And she's responding. And I tell you, um, she has a real bright future here at West Bloomfield. And she's producing this year as well. And another player that I want to mention is Gabby Hale, one of our post players. Um, she's a junior. Um, she's really developing into something special. And she's doing a lot of great things for us as well. Coach McAllister, do you feel you have, I mean, you won the state championship last year. This, this is an easy question, I think, to answer. But you won the state championship last year. You've got everyone saying that you're on the road. You still have plenty of work to do, but you're doing well this year. Uh, do you feel that you are putting the pieces in place to keep this run going, to develop a program that will have longevity as a leader here in women's basketball in the state of Michigan? Yes, we do. Um, and, and I don't mean to sound cocky or arrogant when I say this, but with the resources that we have from the athletic department, um, from the coaching staff, the parents and the community, we feel as though we, we can put together a dynasty here at West Bloomfield. And that's our goal. Um, so we, we won it last year. Um, but our goal is to, to win it every year or at least to try and make a solid effort and, and, and to, to, to develop players to be able to come in year in and year out and help us to accomplish those goals and reach those goals. Uh, we don't want to have the mindset of, of going out re reloading. We just, I mean, replacing. We just want to have the mindset of reloading. So that's the fun part. That's the fun part as far as in season and out season, uh, out of season. And uh, you know, you are not a teacher in the school. Um, you have a distinguished career working with uh, people in the community, and uh, you know, and just being a great guy, working hard in the community. Um, but it, it's got to warm your heart to have an opportunity to work with these young ladies and help them develop as individuals. I, that's the thing that keeps impressing me about all of our athletic programs is that w we don't just have programs that are very successful here in Michigan, but the players and the people that are being developed, the young people that are being developed and the opportunities they're getting in our programs just seem outstanding. and. And just from the little time I spent around your team, it seems to be true there. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Well, one of the things that really stand out to me, and which is really what gravitated me toward West Bloomfield, was the resources and the support. Um, the athletic director is awesome. He makes sure that we have all the resources that we need, um, the, the, the principals and so forth. One thing that stood out to me about the principal, his support, I mean, I, I look up and I see him in, in the stands at almost most of, mostly of all of our games. But the thing that stood out to me about his support is I was I went to the Powder Puff football game and I saw the principal out there refereeing and had a microphone in his pocket <laughs> announcing the game. So that was awesome support to me. And just it warmed my heart and made me say, you know, I'm in the right place because the same energy and effort that I'm giving and supporting these kids, it goes from the bottom all the way to the top. We have a tremendous group that makes sure the building is in place, which helped us to put on the, the, um, the MLK event. I mean, those guys, Billy and, and Buff, I mean, I, mean, I, I want to mention their names because those guys are awesome. Well, I, I appreciate that. And there's no question, Eric Pace is a great guy and is doing a great guy as our principal in West Bloomfield. And uh, certainly, certainly our athletic director, Eric Pierce, who I had a chance to talk to, funny Eric and Eric, Pace and Pierce. Uh, but our athletic director this morning, who I had a chance to talk to on another subject, a uh, great guy. Speaking of which, I, I don't know if you had a chance to interact much with Coach uh, Tyrese Grice, the head football coach here in West Bloomfield, but he's going to be moving on and heading off to Houston, uh, continuing on with his professional career and his personal life, moving to a uh, sunnier climate. You can't blame the guy <laughs> at all. Um, and I just wonder if you have any thoughts or comments about Coach Grice, um, a long, um, certainly a big commitment here to West Bloomfield over several years, and he had a, a huge impact. Well, he's been awesome since day one of getting there. Uh, most of the coaches in the school welcomed me with open arms. And he was one of the first ones that came in. And and um, he was sort of a mentor for me, um, uh, giving me some insight on how to uh, actually let me know the, the West Bluefield way and, and how to be successful and, and to have a time championship mindset. And when I look at the, the video of the championship games, he was right there in the stands, front and center. And he and I conversed a few times. Uh, just about life and, and about sports, and, and um, he's going to be truly missed. Well, Darren McAllister, head coach of the West Bloomfield 
girls basketball team. Thank you very much for joining us. We're, we're thrilled to have an opportunity to cover your game. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, Southfield A&T. And, uh, and then uh, get ready for, for postseason play. And we'll do our very best to cover as much of that as we possibly can. Um, final question today, any thoughts about anything you're doing now to get ready for uh, your tournament run coming up? Or is that something you worry about when the day comes? Uh, we're we're constantly preparing. We start preparing for that for the, the tournament run from day one. So we're 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 right where we need to be. We're trading in the right direction, and I'll leave you with this: get your popcorn ready. <laughs> okay, you heard it here first. Get your popcorn ready, everybody. I'll get mine ready. Coach McAllister, thank you for taking time for with us this morning. Always good to chat. We'll do it again, and we'll we'll see you at the game. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much. All right, if you haven't been following them, you should. They're really fantastic. Our state championship women's or girls basketball team, call it what you will, they are absolutely incredible. A couple other things to mention. Well, we have just a little bit of time left. Coming up at the Orchard Mall, it's a 2023 Black Expo. Mark your calendar for February 25th from 10 until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Still opportunity to be able to exhibit in that and, uh, and definitely mark your calendar to attend. It's going to be an amazing opportunity. We also want to remind you that the Greater West Bloomfield Michigan Week Committee urges you to head off to the Michigan Week website and uh, if you have somebody that you would like to nominate for the awards that we'll be giving out in um, in May at our Michigan Week breakfast, now is the time to do it. Deadline is looming February 17th and uh, this is all about recognizing people that volunteer in our community. So uh, take an opportunity to do that. And then one big major effort here at Civic Center TV, it's the State of the Communities. That is coming up on March 13th. That's a Monday night. We'll have it live on Civic Center TV and also on 89.3 Lakes FM and all of our other outlets. Uh, we will bring together Rob Kalman, the mayor of the city of Kegel Harbor, Norm Finkelstein, the mayor of the city of Orchard Lake Village, Jim Cowper, the mayor of the city of Sylvan Lake, and Steve Kaplan, the supervisor of the Charter Township of West Bloomfield. We'll talk about accomplishments over the past year and other things that are going to be coming up in our communities. A nice hour-long conversation with them. And we're also going to be joined this year by uh, Dr. Danya Bazzi, the superintendent of West Bloomfield Schools. A lot on her agenda and her plate as well with uh, buildings and, and a lot of financial issues that the school district is going to be bringing to the community over the next year. So uh, much to talk about. You, you saw the State of the Union address on TV this week. Uh, with President Biden. That ain't nothing. I mean, we've got our state of the communities, and we're going to get very local and bring you all the information that really matters to you right here at home. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you to our guests. I really appreciate it. Coach Patty Narosny joining us, and thank you for joining us as well. We'll see you bright and early here tomorrow morning at 930. Stand by. Tyler Keith is right around the corner with the Michigan Megacast, and he's got a whole other hour of local and regional news and information. Have a great day.